In this video, I'm going to show a fast way you can create a prototype for your game. So I'm going to start with an empty scene. For my camera, let's actually switch to solid and I'll just use black. Now for my player, I'm going to use a 3D object, cube. I'm not going to be creating an original prototype, it's just going to be flappy cube. So here is my cube. I'm going to reset the position. Let's click F to focus on it. I want to use dynamic physics, so let's add a rigid body. And I'll freeze rotation X, Y, and freeze position in Z. Now, since I want the camera to follow my player, I'm going to switch the interpolation to interpolate so that the cube position will be smooth between each frame. And now let's start creating the logic. So I'm going to use script machine. And this component is part of visual scripting in Unity 2021. I'm going to switch to embedded. And here I can start creating the logic. Now I want this cube to move. So I'll add a move unit. I'll explain more about the units that I'm using here a little bit later. This is going to move the cube to make my cube jump on touch. I'm going to add a touch unit. And when the screen is actually pressed, I want to trigger a jump. Jump height, I'll set to seven and I'll set a really large number for jump limit so that there will be no jump limit. To get the camera to follow our player, I'm going to use a camera follow unit and I'm going to follow only in X. So for the other ones, I'm going to set to zero. So now we can go back and see how is it looking right now. It's hard to see, but the cube is moving and we can also click to jump. Now let's add some obstacles so that the cube is going to avoid. So I'm going to add another cube. I'll just name it enemy. And in my tag, I want to actually select enemy so that we can filter collisions by that tag a little bit later. And now we can create boundaries for our game. Let's scale it in X by 100 and duplicate it for our top, some like that duplicate it again and let's scale in y direction by 10 and in x by 0.5 these are going to be our obstacles and we can start creating our level here so we'll create a small opening right there and then duplicate and create some kind of level that we can try passing so something like that and i actually want to switch my cube to be a little bit smaller i'll set the scale to 0.4 and we can go back to our script machine now and add a listener for that collision. So for collision listener, we're going to use if collide. The tag filter, we're going to use enemy. That is the tag that we selected for an enemy. And on collision enter, I'm just going to restart the scene. And now we can actually build and run the game. And there you go. We have successfully created a prototype of a game that is impossible to win. Now we don't have to stop here. We can continue improving. We can go back to our script. And instead of restarting the level right away, we can disable our move unit and our touch unit, add a little delay, and only after that restart the level. And with that, we get this result. When we collide with an obstacle, we can see the physics collision for a short time. Now, what if you want to add points and levels or an infinite level to your game? All of that is actually possible, and I'll be showing that in the next videos. But before you go and try this yourself, the units that I'm using here is actually my own collection that I created, the Smart Penguins Visual Scripting Unit Collection or Unity in Easy Mode. And at any point, if you want to try out some of these units and see if they're going to work for you, there's a link in the description where you can actually get some of these units and test them out. If that is something that's going to help you in your prototyping or game creation, you can consider getting the full collection. I'm constantly adding more units to it, so there's going to be more addition to these units. Now, if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and I'll see you in the next one.